Good day, mates. Who's ready to go on an adventure? I'm Dave Urban, and you're watching Wild Wildlife in the Wild. On today's episode of Wild Wildlife in the Wild, we're here in the lashes swamps of northern New Jersey, seeking out a creature that in recent years has become ever present around these parts. The Zuma! Scientifically known as Generatio Z, the Zuma can be a shy and evasive species. Ew, go away. You're weird. That's why we've taken up position here, in a grove of cell phone trees. Zoomers can't resist the cell phone, so Buckley's a few won't show up. All we've got to do is keep quiet and listen for the mating call of the wild Zoomer. You! You! There it is. Will there be a reply? The first individual calls again. Oh, this is beautiful. Zoomers communicate in a variety of different ways, primarily by using their own language. I was low-key bussin'. It's facts. Y'all are sussy bakas. Take the L and drop the salt. Legit, like literally no cap. Unfortunately, none of it has been translated yet, so we have no idea what they're saying. All right, guys, uh, any signs? We're still now? rolling. I mean, uh, crikey, it's a bonza dingo, right. man. It's, it's off. All right, all right, thanks. Oh, uh, so any sign of him? Not yet. Not yet, all right. So, uh, how's the, how's the family doing? They're dead. Oh, that's the other Dana. Oh, uh, my bad. That's on me. That's on me. My bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry. So uh, how's the family plot doing? I just don't see why you had to go messing with dead family Dana. Well, I didn't know she would react like that. Oh, God. I can't wait to get back to Sydney. Isn't Sydney a weird name for a town in Michigan? Guys, they're coming! They're here! All right, all right, let's do this, guys. Let's go, go, go. All right, guys, you ready? We ready? We're going on camera one. All right. All right, all right, all right, how's it going? Okay, 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 all right. Crikey, 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 crikey. That there's a Zuma. We've got to ensure that we're unseen. Zoologists studying Zoomers in the wild have observed a strange phenomenon. Whenever these creatures realize they're on film, they immediately begin doing the traditional dances. It's unclear as to why Zoomers feel the need to dance this way. Oh, it certainly doesn't help the creatures find a mate. The Zoomers begin to search for the cell phones. When a Zoomer gathers one, he or she will flex it to the others. He or she or they. Stop promoting the gender binary, Boomer. Oh no, we've been spotted and called out. Yo, look, cameras. Oh no, they've seen the cameras run before they do their dances. We'll have to look for another herd. A herd of Zoomers, or a fam, typically is both an alpha male, known as the Chad, and an alpha female, known as the girl boss. Here we have two males facing off against each other in an attempt to become the Chad of their fam. Each potential Chad will look to roast the other in order to emerge victorious. Victorious, that was a joke show. TBT! Slay. You're cringe. Oh! Well, you're a hater. Oh! Well, you're sus. Oh! I'm not sus. Joe is. Who's Joe? Joe Mama! Oh! 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 The defeated male is now ejected and banished from the fam, known as being cancelled, while the victor becomes his fam's chair. <laughs> Oh, you beauty! We've got right lucky here, mates. 
We're about to witness a traditional Zuma mating ceremony, an elaborate social ritual known as shipping. First, the male Zuma will attempt to impress the female with his dank memes. Oh, she's unimpressed. This isn't going well. Next, the male will flex his impressive supreme wear. And still the female is unimpressed. It turns out just sticking supreme on something doesn't make him cool. The male has only one more chance to woo his potential love. What will he do? You like jazz? It's the greatest pickup line of all time! She's fallen for him completely! As is commonplace among Zoomers, the two will now pull up to Duncan together. And that seems like a good place to end today's episode. Tune in next week when we follow one of nature's most erratic and irritable creatures. The Karen! Next time on... What What Life in the Wild. Yo, that show is pretty based. Based? Based on what?